My name is Marilyn Gardelman Key Ross, and I'm standing in historic Pullman on the south side of Chicago. We're very close to having our Halloween uh, for this year, and uh, it reminded me of the time when my daughter Julie was three years old, and we were going to go to the Halloween parade in Little Green Park over on 111th Street and uh, they were having a parade for all the children in the neighborhood to dress in costumes and whatnot. And so my husband decided to surprise her and made her a little covered wagon with her bicycle. So I made it up as a, as a bike, a trainer's bike. I made it up as a horse and a covered wagon. I made the material of the wagon by bending two conduit pipes and putting the sheet over like a cup of the wagon. And then I put saddlebags on the wagon. And on the front wheel of the bicycle, he put a piñata, and it was a little donkey, and the covered wagon had canvas on it, and he had pots and pans hanging from it. It really was cute. And he wrote Fort Pullman on the canvas, and. We all marched down to the park and he filmed us going all the way down. Then all the children went around the park in, in their costumes and whatnot. It just so happened that Julie won first prize. She got her picture taken in the Calumet Index that year as the first prize winner, and we still have that photo. As the kids got older, they we didn't have to take them trick-or-treating. They could go on their own, but they never wanted to leave the house because my husband and I got a little creative. <laughs> my husband, Al, made himself a coffin, and he laid in the coffin, and he had it painted black, and he had handprints that glowed, and he laid here, and I had a long black wig on. On and I would sit at the bottom of the stairs right here and when the children would come up the walk I would ask them come children come I won't hurt you come see my friend and 
that was the key word for him, to lift the lid of the coffin. One uh, Halloween, a few years later, I was sitting at the top of the stairs with my witch's outfit on and, and Al hadn't come home yet and all of a sudden he came out from the backyard and he had on a white jumpsuit, plastic jumpsuit, and he came and he hid behind this bush and he just sat back there and my girlfriend Jeannie came up and we were just standing there talking and he reached through the, the railing and he grabbed her by the ankle <laughs> and she got so scared. She screamed. Her knees gave up and she went down in slow motion and rolled down the stairs. She was laughing all the way, but it was so wonderful. It was so wonderful. We just reminisce about that all the time.